Chuck, so many things stood out tonight. When you have yeah. seven guys in double figures, 50 bit bench points, um, what was your biggest takeaway and how impressed were you guys able to kind of come back and kind of come all together as a team effort? Yeah, I'll give you one on, on each end of the floor. I think uh, offensively, the 32 assists really stand out. Uh, guys were really moving the basketball. Kevin was a hub for us tonight, uh, really put them in a tough bind of, of double teaming him. He was a willing passer, and then he capitalized when he had the opportunities to. Uh, and, and then defensively, uh, the second half, you know, 29 points, uh, pretty nicely done for our group to have pride in, in getting stops. And so those two things really stood out. Jack, I got two for you. Just career high in assists, both from Cam and from Royce. You know, obviously Royce has been doing a good job with the three and the D part, but what do you see from him from a playmaking standpoint and then Cam too? Yeah, he's just a smart basketball player. Uh, and I think he gives us a luxury of being able to put the basketball in his hands uh, with different groups. Uh, he has a high IQ, and so he keeps things pretty simple, which is, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then Cam, you've seen it before. He has the ability to make plays. He's grown as a basketball player to make plays for himself and others. Then just you mentioned the playing small pregame. I, mean, I think you had a lineup tonight where Yuta was the five man for counting on that. Just how much of this has been your preference versus maybe the roster hand you're dealt with with some of the attrition injuries right now? I guess I was honest with you earlier, huh? That pr proved that part of it, right? Uh, I think overall uh, you, you have to be flexible uh, with, with your, uh, the lineups that you put out in today's game. Uh, we looked at it as an advantage of having you two out there when Gaffer was there. We could stretch the floor, put multiple shooters around, and made it difficult then for, to, to contain uh, Kevin. Kind of following up on that, I mean, you said from Jump Street you plan to push the pace and be a little more active in that angle. But defensively, going small, is that – Something you would expect to do a little bit more of going forward, even when you have a full roster? Yeah, it's just uh, it's a great challenge for the group. When you're small, you have to cover for each other. You have to box out every time. If you don't, you'll get punished. And so it's a great challenge for our group to step up and enjoy that because we can capitalize on the other end with a little effort and, and care on the defensive end while being small. And I guess following up on that, I mean, there have been instances where this team's tried to go small and they have been punished and they haven't responded on the boards. What, in your mind, what was the difference tonight where some of that stick to itiveness was actually showing? Yeah, it was really a dedicated effort. Uh, you saw multiple times, uh, multiple effort from guys where they're coming over as a low man and then scrambling out and still making contests. And so uh, when you are small, you have to make multiple efforts. And uh, uh, we talked about a halftime. We showed one clip of uh, great shell, us showing for each other, helping each other, going out and contesting the shot. We said we did that the second half. We'd be in good shape.